After three years of holding tuition rates flat, the college will increase the schooling fees the next academic year. Barbara Larson, JCCC Executive Vice President, states it will be a modest raise. Um, we don't believe that these modest increases will influence enrollment decisions, and that's why we want to make sure that we don't have large spikes in tuition, but really consider very moderate planned increases. On the other hand, some people indicate this change could decrease the school population. Well, I think for the uh, low-income families, um, it should be like a, a grant or something that we can uh, help with the students with because um, if there's no funds and if the student has to pay more, uh, they won't. They will stop coming over to the uh, and keep having uh, education. Well, people should be able to come to a college that is cheaper. That way, they can reach their potential and reach their goals. And raising the prices of things causes people to go somewhere else. I wouldn't be super worried about it because I guess um, financial aid would still be available and that might be able to help, but again, it's not the same case for everybody. So I'm not all that concerned about it. I mean, it doesn't sound like too much of a big raise, and I know that there are like some lower income students who might be um, worried about it, but I think the college does have a lot of good um, financial aid pr programs. The increase will not um, affect their financial aid at all. But what I would encourage students to do is apply for our scholarship programs, apply for financial aid. Many students don't even apply. We give away millions of dollars in scholarships each year, and if you, you can't receive them if you don't apply. However, the Student Senate both to not oppose the increase. As Student Senate, we voted to not um, be opposed of the tuition raise. Uh, is how we is how we worded it. Just because it's kind of it's already in action. It's basically it's already in their planning even though it's only going to get confirmed in May. For the campus ledger, Paloma Martinez.